We know that some animals can sense the Earth's magnetic field. Some birds, fish, and even some mammals have been known to use magnetism to navigate their way around the world. But what about humans? Do we possess such an internal compass? Humans weren't considered to be magnetically sensitive organisms until now. Researchers have confirmed that some of us do have a so-called sixth sense for Earth's magnetic field. But even those with the magnetic capability are not aware of their magnetic sense. You see, our Earth is surrounded by a strong magnetic field. But this magnetic field is fairly weak at Earth's surface. In fact, it's about 100 times weaker than a refrigerator's magnet. So even if you do possess a magnetic sense, it is very weak or deeply subconscious. Scientists believe that this internal compass may have helped our ancestors to navigate without getting lost. This magnetic sense might also be the reason why some people have an extremely good sense of direction. The ability to detect the magnetic field is called magnetoreception. To study whether or not humans can sense the Earth's magnetic field, 34 adults were asked to sit in a dark, quiet aluminum box lined with electrical coils known as a Faraday cage. The purpose of a Faraday cage is to block out all electric signals, including radio waves. In this unique design, researchers created a magnetic field that was the same strength as Earth's natural magnetic field. Researchers could tweak the electric current running through the coils. This would allow them to point the magnetic field in any direction. Each person wore a cap that recorded their brain's electrical activity as the magnetic field changed direction. Scientists compared those brainwave readings with readings from trials where the magnetic field did not move. The team focused on the brain's alpha waves. Alpha brain waves are usually produced by neurons when a person sits still and does nothing, but these signals tend to fade as someone uses their senses to smell, taste, hear, or touch. So, any drop in alpha waves would be an indication that the brain may be processing some sort of information from the magnetic fields. And sure enough, changes in the magnetic field trigger changes in four of the participants' alpha waves. Researchers interpret this dip in the alpha waves as the brain freaking out upon realizing that the magnetic field has moved while the body didn't. While the experiment supports the idea that humans possess a magnetic sense, scientists are not sure how it works. We are still trying to figure out just how magnetoreception works in animals. There are currently two major hypotheses to explain that. One involves cryptochromes, which are specialized proteins in the retina that somehow communicate magnetic information to the brain. The other hypothesis involves microscopic magnetic particles called magnetite. Researchers found that these magnetic particles are scattered throughout the human brain, and their widespread presence in the brain suggests that these particles likely serve as some kind of biological compass. And if we do have a subconscious magnetic sense, how does it affect our behavior? And what does the brain use this information for? These are some interesting questions that scientists have yet to figure out. <laughs>